Hello, hello, welcome back to Who's Views. Yes, this is Chit Chat. This is the part of the channel where I get to speak to other Doctor Who fans from all over the world. One of my favorite uh, shows that we do here on the channel. And today I am joined by Cody W1, otherwise known as Ian. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, listen, thank you so much for coming on to Who's Views. It's great to see you. It's nice to be here. <laughs> I've oh. never been asked before. <laughs> well, I, think it, I think everyone's too scared or something. <laughs> Why would they be scared of you? I have sir? no idea. I've no idea as well. I've no idea. But no, it's great to have you here. It's great to have you on. And, and thanks very much for, 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 for coming on. So listen, first things first, Ian, uh, tell me about whereabouts are you? I am in North Queensland in Australia, uh, around about the Townsville area. All right. Okay. And how's it going on there at that right now? Very hot. <laughs> it's <laughs> only, only the first month of spring, and it's already been over thirty today. Wow! So, <laughs> oh my gonna goodness! Be a hot six months. It, it sounds like it's going to be, isn't it? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So, yeah. um, so t tell us a bit about yourself. Where, where, how did you discover Doctor Who? How did you get into Doctor Who, mate? Well, I got into Doctor Who a very long time ago, at about Christmas 1986. Right. Uh, I mean, I'd seen Doctor Who before. I'd, I'd watched it as a kid. I have, I, I vaguely remember uh, the Five Faces season. I must okay. have been like five or six at that point. I vaguely remember like Carnival of Monsters. I vaguely remember my brother and I complaining that the Tom story was Legopolis because that had only just been on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We yeah. were like, couldn't they have chosen something else? And I vaguely remember bits of, of Davison and bits of Collins' first season, but it was actually Christmas 1986. My brother bought me for, for a Christmas present the novelization of The Savages. Oh. And I, I, I wasn't that impressed. Oh, you know? okay. I'm like, okay. And I, at some point during Christmas and New Year, I must have got bored. And I, I decided to give it a go. And for some reason, I so it sparked something in me. I loved it. I suddenly got obsessed with the whole idea. I started raiding the library for books. I had uh, Peter Haining's A Celebration. Oh, almost yeah. On, almost on permanent loan for like nine months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, got my, I got my first VHS sometime during that year. And then I was there for like season 24 as a fan for the first time and i've i've been a fan ever since basically that's brilliant that's a great story so the, the the doctor who novels from target they were accessible in your local library then yeah yeah oh, oh yeah the, 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 i mean there was there was main the main one i used was like a mobile library and all it, right it, it was kind of parked on the road outside of my school and i used to get them I, I could walk home so i used to kind of stop it every day get some more books out continually renew a celebration <laughs> learning it off by heart you know <laughs> <laughs> did you ever manage to buy it i do have a copy of it as i got off ebay along it, it, it's, it's not the original though it's oh. the it's it's the reprint you know the, it's a it's like a blue cover it's, oh yes yeah yeah it, the australian it, it's, yeah it's not really it's not really as classy as the original no but like, i can't the, uh, and so that's how you really go to Doctor Who from 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 the savages. I know, I know. I, I had a, a fan friend in the late eighties. I told him that he's like, "What a bizarre way to become a fan!" <laughs> it is though, isn't it? But go, is your brother is your brother still into the show as well? No, no. no. Did he grow he, up? He, he never really was. Uh, I mean, he watched it when we when we were very young. I think, in all honesty, he only got me that book because he'd been planning to get me something else. He'd been planning to get me a video, and it turned out that the film was like on, on, on Christmas, it was going to be premiered at that, that Christmas on BBC or whatever. And oh. so he was kind of like, oh, I can't get him that if, if that's going to be on. So he just kind of randomly grabbed a, <laughs> grabbed a Doctor Who book, which <laughs> makes it even weirder, doesn't it? Really, yeah. <laughs> what, where, where would I be, you know? <laughs> Um, who knows? We better not. We better not answer that question. Who knows where you'd be? I wonder what would happen if you got you another book. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been into the show ever since. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, uh, my 
my my fandom waned a little in the late nineties after you know it'd been off air for so long, and then the TV movie didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, and I, I, at that point, I started to get a bit fed up of it because they they'd been spinning as this line ever since uh, nineteen eighty nine that it was coming back. You know, at, at any minute there'd be a new there'd be a, every month of DWN there'd be a new kind of production company vying for it and all this sort of thing. And after the TV movie, it was just like, no, it's dead. <laughs> mm. uh, so it, it kind of disappointed me a bit. But mm. I got back into it again. It was only like a, I guess I was just going through a phase. Uh, the early 2000s, I, I started getting back into it again, even before they, they announced they were bringing it back. Yeah. I, I, I'd given up like Doctor Who magazine for a few years. And then I was in the shops one day and I, and I saw this particular issue. It was like a Tom special covering all of his in, his seasons. And I took a look at it and I thought, oh, this looks nice. I, I, kind of, I kind of started getting back into it again after that. Yeah. It, it wasn't really, a, I, I, I never, you know, I, I never did anything radical like throw away all my, my collection or anything like that. It was just a couple of years where the enthusiasm was a bit dimmed because it was, it was gone, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean that. I mean, a lot of people, you know, who watch yeah. the show now don't realize that at that point, a lot of us, a lot of fans, w wrote it off for the exact same reasons you were yeah. saying. I mean, I, 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 a few of us, like me, were just, yeah, it's definitely going to come back one day. It's just a question of when. But I understand that because you know, it, it was, it, it was, it wasn't moving as quickly as as people wanted to. But it was quite. A, um, you look back at it now. Are you like me? Do you, when you look back at those years now, do you find it to be actually quite a good time? Um, or, or, or did you just move away from it brilliant, uh, uh, completely? Well, no, it was a good time for the majority of the 90s. I mean, I, I, I bought the new adventures. Did you? The missing yeah, I've, I've still got a complete collection of the, of the new oh, adventures. Oh, brilliant, right. Uh, I, I bought the, the missing adventures, not as much. I haven't got all of them. I kind of only bought the ones that looked particularly interesting because they started doing like two a month, didn't they? They did, yeah. It was, yeah, get, it was yeah. getting a bit much. Yeah. Uh, and the VHSs were coming fast and and furious and that and there were lots of stories that i'd never seen before and, and even on australian tv i mean i emigrated i'm obviously obviously i'm british you can probably tell from my accent uh when i emigrated in 1991 they were showing a load of like late tom baker stories oh wow that i'd never seen before but they're, they're basically showing it on like an afternoon show for kids and that so i'd <laughs> never seen any of those and then in uh, 1993, they were showing them, repeating them like early in the morning, like six o'clock in the morning. And they had all, like all the early Tom Bakers, like, like all the Hinchcliffe ones, and then the Davison ones, which I hadn't seen for like ten years at that point. So uh, obviously, I, I was taping them all. So it was a it was a great time to kind of catch up. It was really only in the late 90s, yeah, that it just kind of started to feel a bit, you know, it started to feel a bit dead. And there were other there were other things like uh, Buffy and the X Files that I was very much into, and so it was just kind of like it, it just it just felt like it was falling away. It was becoming a relic, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, to a point. Yeah, to a point. When yeah. did you move away? When did you move over to Australia? Uh, Ninety one. Okay, and where were you from over here? South Yorkshire. I can hear that still in your accent. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, it's, not, it's never gone. Yeah, uh, no, and why should it be? So it's the you can take the boy out of Yorkshire. Absolutely, I'm proud to be a Yorkshireman. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah, I mean that time. I mean it was quite it was quite bizarre, wasn't it? Because at that point, then you know um, where you were, I think a lot of people where you were at that point, because it, it had been so long after the fact. It had been about ten years. Uh, and yes, okay, you'd had the the TV movie in between, but I think a lot of people were going right. Okay, this is getting a little bit sort of. It it definitely isn't coming back now, and things have moved on in television as well. So, a lot of people can yeah. see where Doctor Who would fit. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I just rem I, I just remember I, this this gradual kind of decline of interest after the TV movie kind of went nowhere. It was all doom and gloom as well in like Doctor Who magazine. Was there was no before that, there'd always been like some kind of in the sense that it was always on the verge of coming back. And then af after the TV movie kind of failed in America and that, that all that just went and it was just, no, it, it's gone. And mm. I mean, by that point, by that point, I'd gotten most of like the old stories. 
there were only a handful of VHSs that hadn't come out yet of stories I hadn't seen. Yeah. So it, it really just felt like there's nowhere to go with this. And and there was there was no other like real fan of fans in the area either. Yeah. So that, there was like one fan club that I'd been to, but that had kind of fallen off as as well. So it was just like, you know, it's it just it felt very dead. Yeah. And very very kind of sad. But like oh. I said, I I I I did I kind of got back into it on my own in uh, around 2001. I think the big thing that I'd, I'd had like maybe two years, two, three years of kind of being vaguely disinterested. And then in 2001, for some, I can't remember, for some reason, I was stuck at home on Easter weekend and it was belting it down with rain. And I'm stuck at home with like this little bag of these chocolate Easter eggs. And I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to shove a Doctor Who on. I, I, and I threw on the mind of evil. And this is kind of a, an indication of how far my interest had fallen. I kind of expected to turn it off after an episode or two. And instead, I sat there for the whole two and a half hours watching the thing, munching the Easter eggs, and just enjoyed the whole thing. And <laughs> that kind of slowly turned it around again. I just started getting back into it from that point on. Oh, brilliant. Uh, was that the first time you'd seen Mind of Evil? Was it Revisit? No, that was a Revisit. I revisit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't really watched much for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. And it was yeah. like, yeah, this is, okay, I, I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I actually I actually loved it. So it was like, oh, well, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Mind of Evil, when you watch it today, as you get older, you, you it, it, it seems to get better every watch. Yeah, it's a very good story. It's very, it's kind of an odd story, isn't it? Because it feels, mm. like, in many ways, it feels like season seven rather than season eight. That's a point. Yeah, that is a good only, point. Only it, obviously, it's got Joe and the Master in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I can see. Yeah, it, had that come immediately uh, at the at the start rather than Terror of the Autons, it would have felt like a natural continuity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, got, it's got the same sort of tone, hasn't it? Well, it has really. And 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 when you look at that, I suppose because of when you look at who's behind the scenes. And who's yeah. written it and stuff? It, yeah. That that comes through, but no, no I, actually, you've, you've inspired me. I must go back and watch that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it for ages, Ian. <laughs> so you mentioned that you obviously you got the videos there, and you've got some of the book. I mean, are you a collector? Do you collect any of the Doctor Who stuff? Only now, really, only like the Blu-rays. Okay. Uh, back in the day, uh, I collected Doctor Who magazine. Yeah. I collected Doctor Who magazine from like 1987 through to 1998 i started yeah. i started subscribing when i came to australia because yeah. it was difficult it was difficult to find in news agents down here it still is uh, i believe and then kind of about around 1998 like i said i was starting to lose interest in it it just felt like there was not really much left to talk about and i kind of dropped it off for a few years mm -hmm. uh i did the books i did the books back in the day especially the new adventures i kind of started dropping it off when the BBC took over, there were a few oh, yeah. that I, there were a few that I picked up that I, I kind of weaned off it. I, I don't I don't bother with any of that now. Uh, I was never really into Big Finish. I've tried it, but it's just it's not really my my thing. No, they're not audio is not for everyone. No, so now now mainly it's like the the animations and the and the Blu-ray collection sets really is the only thing that I pick up now. Yeah. How you how you finding getting the Blu-rays there? I mean, because I know um, that it's been a bit of a, a struggle, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I've been getting them off eBay from like a an Australian seller that has them from the UK. Right. I, they, they must they must have some kind of system going where they get them there at the same time as there are as they are in in England because we don't get the local releases at the same time. I don't know why because in the two thousands. I mean, in the nineties, the, the, with, the, with the videos, we were months behind. Yeah. And then with the two, and in the two thousands, with the DVDs, we got to a point where was, we were like two weeks, like the two weeks after England, our local version would be out, and that was great. You know, there, there was there was no point even sending off for them because they'd be out by the time they got here. But somehow, with the Blu-rays, we've gone back to like three months, and with the last one, it was five months. So it's like not very good. Well, it's not really considering that you know I've often said that Australia for me is is Doctor Who's second home, and the fans have been there since the sixties. 
Yeah. And, and to be treated like this right now, I, I really don't understand what's happening with it. I mean, what is but the situation? What's the problem? There's been this whole thing. Universal has dropped them. Uh, the, the, they've they've got another distributor now. I, I can't remember what they, what it's called. I think Imprint, I think it is. Right. The, a, an Australian one. But Universal is basically dropping physical media completely. And they're, they're dropping all the BBC ones completely. <sighs> they weren't even going to release season nine. Uh, this 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 new one. I, I think I think season nine's now their last one. Five months after the British version, and now we've got this new. I don't, I don't know whether the. I mean, I, I don't think there's any sign of season twenty yet on the Australian thing. So I have no idea. I've I've imported that via the <laughs> via eBay season twenty. And it got to you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what that's what. Uh, I mean, all this is upsetting. But I see pictures of fans from abroad who get their British Blu-ray box set, and they're not they're not they're not cheap by any means, and they've arrived damaged. And you know, the, the, I just think, oh my god, it's heartbreaking. You know, yeah. I just don't I've understand been, why in this day and I've age been... they can't get distribution correct. Yeah, I, I, I get. Yeah, as I said, I, I don't understand how we've gone from two weeks in the two thousands. Nah. To, suddenly, to suddenly back to three three months and and more in the twenty yeah. tens and twenty twenties, it's just yeah. It's I very mean, disappointing. it's con it's concern. It is disappointing for you guys, and it's disappointing to hear about it. And it, it's concerning that you were mentioning there that you, you know you've you've heard that they want to drop you know the, the the actual physical copies of this for download. That's nonsense. I mean, why why would these businesses? Why would these people say you can't have the hard copy because we can't be bothered deal, doing the deal and doing uh, the work? I mean, I, you know, there's, I, I there's no know. way download can actually. I don't care what anybody says. I'm a passionate believer. I don't think download will ever replace that the, the actual physical copy. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what what Universal are, are playing out. They've just they've just said they're walking away. So an, another company's taking it over in australia but it took a month to it took a month to sort it out and find another distributor i'm not sure now uh, what, what, what when like underwater menace is coming out or anything like that oh no i, I have no idea I'll, I'll probably end up end up importing that because it takes ages it's ridiculous i i, I want to get underwater menace for christmas <laughs> Well, of course you do, and then you want to to have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it's just a shame there's no equivalence to like the Who Shop or, or, or Galaxy Four in Australia, is there? I'm uh, not that I know of. No. <laughs> but if, if anyone's in Australia and they know of an equivalent over there, please drop it in the comments and let us know so that Ian <laughs> can get in touch with them. <laughs> yeah. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, I thought I'd lost you for a second. Yeah, <laughs> well, that would be good if people if people know some, wouldn't it? If they got in touch with you. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the moment, at the moment, there's like a couple of eBay sellers. I, I do. I, I guess the they have some kind of funnel to the UK because they seem to get them within like a week, and then and then you buy it and send it to us. But I, I don't know. It's a very strange. It does sound it's a very, very strange, strange way of doing things. It is, it is. I mean, there must be an easier way. And and come on, the, the BBC Worldwide, uh, BBC Studios really need to look at that as well, don't they? And, you know, because they, they're, it's important. The worldwide fan base is important. We can't mistreat them. I mean, it's bad enough being, you know, um, I mean, this year, I mean, you know, you know, I haven't been a fan of this year, really, when it comes to celebrating the show. It just, nothing's happened. It's just nothing no. happened. If it hadn't been for the independents, the likes of Telos and Ten Alps, um, you know, a real time, and all these wonderful independent people who have been producing content all year, we wouldn't have had anything, really, because yeah. the BBC oh, have brought out this um, this lovely hardback book. Um, now it's coming out in November. Um, it's, we haven't had any Blu-ray box sets this year. We we haven't apart from the Five Doctors. That's it, one. And then we haven't had any yeah. standard editions coming out at all. I mean, it's just been a bit a bit disappointing. So you know, that's here in the UK. Yeah, I'm losing you a bit there. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Well, we'll carry on. Let's see what's happening. I mean, yes, yeah, so, you know, um, if, if it's been a bit, if it's been just a bit sort of damp squiddish here, I mean, everybody else in the in the in the in the world feels it as well because nothing else is being produced abroad. Yeah, and of course, uh, Australian fans are not very happy that uh, the new stuff is now behind a a paywall. On I was going to ask you about this as well. Yes, yeah, so give us give us an update on your take on that as well, because we, I've heard from various people in Australia about this, and it does seem a little bit 
unfair. Yeah, it, it was it was certainly a bit of a shock. I mean, uh, I know it's been on here since since the sixties. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've even got like a Dalek in the foyer of ABC in in Sydney or something. I suppose they've moved it now. It, yeah. it, that had been there for decades, and it's like, oh no, we just want your money now. <laughs> uh, it's sad. I mean, I, I I didn't even I didn't even know how I was going to be able to get it actually because my TV at the time did, couldn't even get disney plus when they first announced it i've actually had to get a new tv because it bust but oh you're kidding I, me I, no I, I can get it now but at the time i was like well i'm not buying a new tv just for the sake of of getting disney plus but i've had to get one anyway so <laughs> yeah but it's yeah. a bit off in it you got to pay for it now uh, well yeah i mean i do feel for uh, for you know fans outside the uk because you know of what, what's going on there it does seem a right. little bit sort of it's very corporate isn't it it's very mm. grab grab and take the money you know i mean i mean to be honest it it, it depends on whether or not i'm gonna like it or not because you know i i have not watched i've not watched new who since 2017 okay so what switched you off jody <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> the less said, the better. Yeah. Well, yeah. The less said, the better. Say no more. I mean, I mean I, I, I've never been as big a fan of New Who as I am the classic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are times when I've come close to stopping watching anyway because it was starting to kind of get on my nerves. That was just kind of the last straw in 2017. I felt like this is not the show that this is yeah. not the show I fell in love with when I was a kid anymore. Whether whether or not they can get me back or not, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people in the same boat as you, isn't it? I mean, we're all going to yeah. be looking at the Tenant episodes in November. Um, you know, I don't know. I think a lot of us. I'm 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 like you with this. I'm approaching it with a trepidation. I think is the word. I'm just very sort of laid back about it let's see what this is going to be like and then even more so with the new episodes that are coming from christmas homage you just yeah. think oh, okay well, let's just try it let's see what it's yeah. about but if they don't grab us if they don't bring us into it then we don't watch it that's as simple as that well no i mean I, I'm, cert I'm certainly not i'm certainly not paying for disney every month if i don't like it I don't how really much is it with you that. ian how much do you have to pay uh I, i'm not sure I, I think it's between 14 to 17 dollars a month Crikey. Okay. So it's not that cheap, really, in this day and age. No, I mean, and I mean, there's not really much on it I'm interested in. So I've, I've mainly, I've mainly got it just to, in advance to make sure I could get it downloaded and working on my TV for next month. But again, it depends whether or not I like it or not. <laughs> well, that's I'm, not, it. I'm not going to keep up with it if I, you know. If well, I, no, well, it, no, but... and, and, you, and you won't be alone. I mean, why would you pay for something? I mean, you're paying, yeah. as you pointed out there, you're paying for a whole channel. Yeah. The, the, you know, 95% of content you're not interested in. You're only there for these three hours for Doctor Who, four if you include the Christmas one, depending if you get through the, the first three episodes. Yeah. Why would you I Why mean, would you pay for that if you don't want it? It, it does make me wonder what kind of profile it's going to have in Australia as well, behind mm -hmm. Disney, because, I mean, it, it pretty much died during the previous era uh, i think uh, I, I i i mean i wasn't really paying attention because i wasn't watching it anyway i think yeah. the last season the last season wasn't even shown in prime time i think they, sh they shoved it on like a sunday afternoon or, or a monday afternoon something like that That's oh really how, yeah because the ratings were so bad oh. and I yet they brought it in as well <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean it, it, it was a, it was a big thing on a on abc even through capaldi they they had like a, a yeah. an after show with an Australian host. Yeah, I remember hearing about, about this. Yeah, about, yeah, all talking about Doctor Who and that. And it's like two, two, three years of Jody, and it's like it's an afternoon show now to get it out of the way. So <laughs> I, I do wonder whether they can even even if if the even if the new ones are good, how much of a profile is it going to have in Australia? Yeah, how how much of a profile will it have in Australia? Yeah. I don't know. Have you seen any? Um, have you seen any promotional material at all uh, for the no. new episodes? Don't you haven't? No, not at all. I mean, I, I was actually I actually looked on Disney Plus yesterday. I actually did a, a search for Doctor Who to see if there was even like a, a coming soon or anything. No trace of it whatsoever as yet. So that's that is very strange because obviously we've had the trailer over here. 
Yeah. And then I was speaking to 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 people like you know to, to Michelle and Chester and, and Tardis by Drove in America, and they've not had anything. To, you would think that Disney would want to promote this thing because they've 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 got it. And yeah, they hold I mean, the right, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, judging from some of the rumors about the scheduling of the three specials, it seems like it might be less than a month away for, for the first one. Yeah, and there's there's absolutely nothing, not <sighs> whatsoever. I mean, it's very odd. I mean, I hear things over here as we're as of recording now. We're obviously coming towards the end of October, um, and we're all, we're gearing up. So you know, it's, I'm hearing that we're supposed to be hearing stuff any time between now and say the 30th of October as to when it's going to be broadcast. Yeah. But I would, I'm, I'm, I sometimes think, well, hang on a minute. Is it because you're now part of this bigger deal that you can't say anything? Cause it surely can't be just the fact, Oh, we don't want the opposite channel to know. It can't just be that anymore. Uh, I mean, it, it just seems to me that this is part of something, uh, you know, a bigger, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't I mean, explain myself properly. I, I mean, I know that the, the, the announced that the novelizations, are coming out on like the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th of November, respectively, which kind of implies that they might be on 11th, 18th. Where did you see that? I think it was on uh, 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 Type 40, and there was there was somewhere else, someone else that had it as well. They've announced that the, that the novelizations are being published on those dates. Yeah, you see, I've got, I've got the novelization dates as being January. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, that, I was told January. No. It had been moved from the original November dates to January, because no, I know no, that no, the um, the the box set for the Blu-rays and stuff like that that's been pushed back as well because that was never going to come out this side of Christmas. So again, it's the lack of information. I think a lot of this is speculation. I think there's a lot of people just making things up. No, you know, I mean, we've got we've got recently Russell T Davis has come out uh, over the last week to say. The, the, the show, the episodes are not going to be on the 23rd of November, or it's not going to include the 23rd of November, possibly because it's a weeknight. Yeah. Um, and he's, I mean, and they, they want it all on Saturdays, which is strictly come dancing here. So for me, that's just a bit, why, why are you, why are you doing that? You know, don't, are you trying to cash in on Strictly? Or, I mean, Strictly is a big show and a long show, you know, it's on for <laughs> forever. So I don't know. So I think a lot of that might just be, you know, cabbages and kings, basically. Yeah, I mean, it it, it seems like he's try, trying to recreate the late two thousands, doesn't it? From like two thousand and five to two thousand and eight. Well, yeah, I mean, to an extent, that's what's going on. I mean, we do know yeah. that the new series will be shown in March because there's nothing else around in March really for the BBC. They do need something there, um, and also because you know, whether fans like it or not, when it comes to September to Christmas, Saturday nights belong to Strictly Come Dancing in this country because that gets viewers. People still watch it. Yes, okay, the viewership is down slightly, but it's still a big show. People still watch it. It's got a huge fan base. Um, so, you know, you can't put Doctor Who in there. They tried it once before and it was on a bloody well, quarter past eight at night or something like that one of the yeah, time. No. Ridiculous. You know, just shocking. Silly time to put it on. So when it comes to things like the novels and stuff like that, I you know I was told that the original November dates that they had were being put back now to January, and they were all coming out on the same day in January. Yeah, well, that's uh, uh, that. That was the last thing I heard, anyway. I mean, I don't really, I yeah, don't really yeah, keep, yeah. Up, keep up with it that much. No, no. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, yeah, but I still think that it's it's very odd that Disney Plus are not doing any promotion yeah. for this, not even showing yeah. those trailers. I mean, where's yeah, the responsibility? You would think saying is that they're, they're, they're supporting this. It's just very odd right now, isn't it? Because we don't know what's going on and they're not sharing any information. It does seem strange, but it's mid, middle of October now. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be their new big thing. And there's not even a, not even a, not even a coming soon flash uh, on the top of the template or anything like that. It, yeah, and you think where you are, especially in Australia, who have had this yeah. show for free on a national public uh, broadcaster for decades, they'd want to make a fuss of this to try and get more people buying into the service to watch this. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, well, it, it had better be coming on, otherwise I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> I've only, I've only joined for this thing, so. Yeah, and, and obviously that was part of what they were hoping. They were hoping that a lot of Doctor Who fans would go yeah. and subscribe to Disney+. Plus. I don't think it's worked out that way. From speaking to various people in America, I don't think it's increased huge amounts, the amount of people that have bought the subscription. Yeah. It just well, seems a very I, odd thing to do, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've only, I, I've kind of dropped Netflix for the moment and and taken on Disney Plus. Right. If I if I, if I don't like the new series, I, I might go back to Netflix because I can't I can't really afford all these endless these yeah. endless streaming services now. It gets a bit ridiculous. I mean, right. I, I, yeah. I I actually did like the the seven day free trial of Paramount Plus just oh, yeah. in order to just just in order to see uh, Picard season three. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cancelled it again before it had done it. Once I'd watched it, so I, I can't afford all that. Well, no, and, and they seem to forget all this. There is a cost, a worldwide cost yeah. of living crisis going on. But even still, um, this is the problem with all these streaming things that have exploded over the last few years. You have to pay for them. They're yeah. all in competition with us for the same client base. Yeah, it, it seems ridiculous. It's like it's it's like it's replacing normal TV that yeah. we got for nothing. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just insane to me. I don't well, like it. I prefer no, we, the I, pre I preferred the old way. Yeah, well, yeah, call us old fashioned, Ian, but I did as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I think that was the responsibility of somebody like ABC, the BBC. You, you, if you pay or whatever, you pay for by the public. You pay. You give them a, a service, but they're all now. I don't know. It all just, they've taken a lot of the content that were on the, the 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 normal channels, if you like, the terrestrial channels. They've taken them away and they've put them all behind these paywalls. Yeah, and it yeah. it does it just doesn't make sense, does it? Because if you're not paying for it, I don't know. It doesn't. The more I think about it and chat with you, the more I'm thinking it's not it's not brilliant, is it? Well, really? Well, I mean, that's that's one of the other reasons why I kind of went off Netflix because I, I I kind of realized that the only thing I'd been watching for like the previous four months was like Seinfeld and Star Trek Deep Space Nine, both of which I have on DVD and, and have had for donkey's years. So why am I paying j just for the convenience of not having to get up and walk over to my to my DVD shelf? It seems well, yeah. Well, it well seems I, think, I think you're very sensible. Yeah. But I mean, I don't, I don't seem to like any of these new things they put on. Just, I, I try them and I'm like, nah. I'd rather watch. I'd rather watch the X Files. <laughs> what What is it about the new stuff or, or the, this new um, these new shows that they're producing that sort of uh, turns you off? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I know there's a lot of the politics stuff. I I, I won't use the dreadful the, the dreaded W word. No, but they just don't seem to be. I don't know the characters don't grab me. You know, it, it just seems very flat. Oh, I, I think one of the things that I've I realize is. They don't feel like TV shows anymore. They feel like really long movies that are just kind of split up into chunks. Mm. There's no kind of, you know, a TV, to me, a TV show is a different story every week with the same characters. And now everything is just like a really, really long movie. And I most of them aren't, aren't really very paced very well either. So it gets boring. Mm. I'm just mm. like, you know, I, 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 I would rather, work, rather go back and watch Classic Who or go back and watch a, a season of Buffy I've seen 20 times already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's because, they, they, you know, especially when, you know, and I've said this on the show, as you know, when it comes to original Doctor Who, there's a story there and you get engrossed in the story. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I was never really a big Buffy fan. I was working when that was on back in the 90s, so I never really saw it. But the occasional episode i have seen there is there is a, a context in that there's a story in there yeah you, right. you can come into something like that and you you can watch 10 minutes of it and sort of go all oh, right okay i get the gist of this but that doesn't I, seem I, necessarily to be the case in things no, today I, I mean I, I liked that sort of television because you, you could have like an arc you know they, they tended to have like a, an arc over the course of a season but you right. still have individual episodes with individual stories within that so it's not just the same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I, I, I just find that a bit boring. And I, I, I find that I'm going to go on for a bit of a rant here. Go on. Uh, it's your chit chat. I, go I, on. I, just, I, I find the whole, I, I know that it's similar to British TV, but I, I, I find it very unsatisfying that even if they do do a show that you like, you get maybe eight episodes and maybe you'll get another season in like two, three, four years. Oh. It's like, I, I, you know, I, I preferred the old fashioned 24 a year, you know? Yeah. It, it, it was more reliable and consistent. And no, not, not every episode was perfect. But if you had a good show with smart people making it, more than, more, more than are going to be good. Yeah. I, I, I miss the old way of doing things. I I'm do sure as well. 
yeah. I, I, I'm with you completely on that. I don't understand all this. Oh, here's eight episodes, ten episodes, and we'll see you in two or three years. I don't, what is that? What, yeah. what is that about? I mean, yeah. apparently it was one of the <laughs> things that Russell T. Davis said when he, he was coming back to Doctor Who. It has to be on every year. And yes, we're we're getting the eight episodes a year, so it is on every single year. I, I'd like, I personally like to see more, but yeah. I, I just think that well, at least he understands that audiences are getting tired of this. It's going to be on every when we can be bothered making it type thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it it, it, it can, it's it's very telling that some of the most popular shows on streaming are some of the older shows, oh, like totally. Friends. I mean, you're talking stuff that's nearly nearly 30 years ago now, some yeah. of these shows, and yeah. they're still some of the most popular shows. It's like, where are the new ones? Oh, I don't know. We're never, we're never going to get any new ones the way things are going. It, it drives me nuts. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I get that, and I totally agree with it. I mean, because you, you look at some of these alleged new writers that are coming through, I wouldn't say they're writers mm. i wouldn't say they're skilled no. in being able to understand the plot or, or characterization or development or um mi beginning middle and end as we all we were yeah. always taught at school it's just just all opinion opinion and bang and agenda and agenda and bang isn't it and you will watch this and you will like this and when you turn off they complain yeah i, I mean it, it, it's just it's very sad i mean even in the 2010s there were still some shows of that kind of thing that I, I still like stuff like Fringe and uh, Person of Interest and Elementary. There were still some shows that were, that were really good, the old-fashioned format. There doesn't seem to be anything the last few years. Uh, ever since kind of Elementary went off in 2019, I'm hardly watching anything now. It's oh, yeah. Really sad. It's really sad. Well, it is sad. I mean, I, I don't really watch television anymore either. No. In fact, you, you know, in the UK, as you're probably aware – because you've heard me say, um, thousands, well, millions, it is it is millions of households have cancelled their TV licence to the BBC because they've got other things or they've gone onto the streaming platforms. And, it, you, know, it, you know, somebody said to me recently, they cancelled their TV licence because it was cheaper just to get uh, a couple of the streaming, streaming platforms. Uh, was it really? But, but, you know, it's a case of, you know, there's the choice there and people just don't watch... Yeah, what well, they used that, to watch because it's not yeah. being produced. Show me a good yeah. comedy today, Ian. Show me a good oh, God, I comedy know. today. I know it, it's painful, isn't it? I mean, I, I look at I, I even just just like American stuff. You look at the nineties; it was like sitcom after sitcom after sitcom, and now there's nothing. No, <laughs> no. You, can't, you know, I've yeah. been watching recently from America uh, from the old days. I rediscovered uh, uh, the comedy, the, the Golden Girls. Oh yeah. And that is that is very funny. You know, you can watch yeah. it today and it's very funny. I wouldn't watch any of the new stuff now. I wouldn't know any of it because I just it just yeah, doesn't I'm, you know. I I I have seen I've tried some of these new things they tried shoving on you. I find them kind of cringy and not very funny. Oh, there's a lot of that. I know. It, it a lot of it seems to be the comedy of cringe as well. <laughs> I like that. The comedy kind of, of cringe. Kind of people embarrassing themselves and it's not very. I don't, I don't call that funny, really. You know, other people cringing at somebody else saying something. Kind no, of... that's not comedy. No, I know. No, that's just, you know, for for these for all these people that are going on and on and on about be kind and all that nonsense, uh, for them to be writing and performing this sort yeah, of comedy, there's yeah. nothing but get at people. That's actually not comedy. That, that's, you know? yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good point, actually. Well, but that's all they do, isn't it? I yeah. mean, I've seen I've seen um, on various platforms, you know alleged brand new comics they're not funny all they do is spout their opinion and then you know or they, they, they might uh, get at people that don't share the same opinion as them uh, yeah. comedy comedy's hard work and you have to be very articulate you have to be have a talent don't you to write comedy and perform comedy yeah i mean uh, I, <laughs> it, it makes it makes me sound old but it's like it's like i i i never thought i would see the day like in the 90s it was like every night there was stuff on yeah. that, that, that I would watch. And even even stuff they you know they'd shove things like Babylon Five late at night, so you had to tape them and and watch them the next day. And it's like nowadays there's nothing. No, that's a good I, point. I, I, I struggle to find anything new to care about. It's very sad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I kind of hope that even though I, I'm not a big a big fan of Russell T Davis, I I didn't really 
okay. like his first era that much. I'm kind of hoping that he can turn this around and make it something that I like and want to see because there's so little else. It's like, I, I, and I, I love my old stuff. I love my old collections. I'm quite happy watching them, but it would be nice to have, you know, a new show that you can actually care about. Yeah, yeah. A new, a new fandom, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, th I think a lot of us are the, where we are just now, where you just think it would be nice to have that. But do you not th sometimes think, well, actually, the Doctor Who we knew is gone. It's long gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have. I mean, like I said, I, I, I've struggled with New Who long before I stopped watching it in 2017. I, I can't. I was struggling with it. I, I, I quite liked series one. And then mm -hmm. I started struggling with it from series two. By the end of that era, I was I was close to kind of giving up then. So and what what, what of, was it about it? What was what was making you know, go? I mean, I mean all the all the all the slushy yeah. all the slushy stuff. Yeah, kind of got on my nerves. Yeah, uh, just just the overall style of it as well. And but I I I, I kept going because I heard we were getting a new showrunner and a new doctor. I'm like okay, and I really liked series five. That's probably my favorite overall season of of New Who. Right. But then even that even that started going downhill. I, I kind of temporarily gave up with Capaldi after his first season. The whole Missy reveal yeah. really kind of irritated me because I knew where that was going. Yeah, I, I think all I, of it. Yeah. yeah, we knew where that was going. Yeah, but I, but I, I kind of came back. I didn't mind his last season. I thought his last season was okay. And then we got the announcement, and I'm like, you know what, <laughs> I don't, I don't need this anymore. Yeah. Do you know? I can't even. I've said this before. I can't remember Capaldi's last season because by then I was actually tuning in just for the sake of tuning in. <laughs> and so I don't seem. I I, can't, I don't. Re, I haven't retained the information because I was just. I don't know. Just just there. Um, you know. No. I always thought you dropped again. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, no, you're no, you're okay. We can hear you. Carry on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest yeah. fan of Capaldi's era. Capaldi's era. I like it a little bit more now than I did then, but there's still a lot about it that's very kind of uh, you, you know, you you're gritting your teeth through some of this stuff, <laughs> and it it just got to a point in 2017 where I'm like, no, no, I don't need this. So yeah. wh whether or not they can get me back again. I hope so. I mean, I want to, but if I don't like it, I don't like it, and I'm not. I know. I know some people like hate watching stuff so they can review it for their channels and rip it to shreds. I've never really been one for doing that. So no, no, I'm not no. doing it. I don't. I don't no. know how they put themselves through some of the sh through through some of the stuff they watch. <laughs> no, yeah. Just, just well, I don't, I don't know. Actually, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I do, I do admire them in a certain way that they've watched it, um, just so that they they can review it. I don't know if I, well, we'll soon find out. Actually, <laughs> if, if, you know, because I don't know if I, because I never watched any of that stuff. I'm a great believer that if I don't want to watch it, I'll just switch it off. You know, yeah, um, uh, I do believe yeah. that. I do believe that the off button is a very powerful tool and a big message to send back to to people that are making these things. It's just a yeah. shame that none of them in the show business industry are listening to the fact that um, uh, viewers are switching off and they can see that, you know, the takings are down across the board when it comes to movies. The viewing figures are not what they used to be at all. Um, you know, uh, you know, all these arguments that they'll come up with, we say, no, people don't watch television like they used to. Well, yes, they will. If you actually give them something that they'll want to watch and they'll enjoy, they yeah. will sit down. You can't keep blaming everything on the fact that they've gone to other channels because then you have to look into the fact of why would people stop watching that particular channel and pay for another channel? What, yeah. what, what, what's going on? So that all these excuses they come up with, it's simply because you're not providing us with what we want to see. And I, I you know, I don't know about you, but do, do you get frustrated about, cause I certainly do about all this backlash that seems to be over fans who've supported these, all these franchises, not just Doctor Who, but all these franchises for decades. Oh, it's your fault it's not working, or it's not your fault we don't like it, or there seems to be an awful lot of that, isn't there? Oh yeah, well, well it's a, it's a very strange thing where they all seem to kind of go in the same way. They did it with Doctor Who, they've done it with Star Wars. 
where they 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 take it, they take it over and they basically start out telling the old fans to get lost. We don't need you anymore. We're we're we're, we're at the new generation. And then it turns out that this new generation isn't there. No, they don't the want to know. Fans, and the old fans aren't interested. So somehow it ends up being our fault. You know, <laughs> they're very strange. You, <laughs> I don't know. They they still want our money. That's what it comes down to. It it feels like it feels like they hate us. They don't want to actually give us what we want, but they still want us to. Oh, I totally you know, agree. And yeah. our money. Yeah, it uh, must yeah. it must kill them that. You know, um, I sometimes think they're sitting in their little ivory towers and, and uh, you know, they're putting all these ideas together for an audience that just doesn't exist. And yeah. it, it, and it, even if it did exist or if it does exist, it's very small because it's not mass, you know, so it's not it's not everybody. That's why that's why these things don't work. And we've got the proof of that. It's very evident. But I think they must actually be very, very annoyed by the fact that they need people that may not agree with what they're trying to do. And then they get even more annoyed when the, these people turn around and say, well, that's not what we want. Thank you. That's not the yeah. product we want. Yeah. It, yeah I just, it, it just, it, it boggles my mind. It just makes, it makes me feel very old. Like I'm just, I don't get it. I just do not get why you have to do this. What happened to professionalism? You know, what happened to being a professional writer, telling a story? I mean, you, you, you can tell it, you, you can use certain kind of characters in that providing you tell a, a story with them and not just bang people over the head and, and tell them to like your politics. It's a very strange way of doing things. It's a terrible I mean, way of doing things. Yeah. You know, I, I've, I've I always said it. you start doing that, you automatically lose 50% of your yeah. audience. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we, we sound like we sound like a couple of old farts. <laughs> but you know what, though, I think that's needed because there's this little thing that is is is, is still around, but it's minuscule. It's called common sense. Yeah, and you have to have that because it's a case of like, well, look, there's a bigger picture here. Just tell something that's accessible to everybody and keep your own affairs out of it, just like they used to. That's why we had such. I mean, you used to be able to watch television for for decades without knowing. The opinion of the person that was presenting the show, yeah, or, or yeah. acting in the show, or writing in the show, or directing the show. Now you know which, which where they all are, and you are going to have people that will say, "Well, I don't agree with that." And in this day and age, with some of their policies, oh, I don't know. The audience is actually transferring to television there to support them in their um, their messages. I think. I think it, it also. I mean, I, I guess it comes that is that to professionalism, but. I, I get the feeling there's just they don't have the talent to put their ideas in in a way that people are going to find acceptable. I mean, I was talking about elementary. Okay. I didn't watch I didn't watch elementary for several seasons because on paper it sounded awful. I I, I looked at it. I'm like, it's an American made, America set updated modern times sherlock holmes right with a with a race and gender swapped watson and like, uh, on paper on paper it sounds terrible it sounds yeah it, it sounds like everything wrong with modern pop culture it's a great show and nobody, right. nobody nobody ever goes on about the fact that watson is a chinese woman she's just a character and it's a it's, it's a detective show that's all it is there's no need for there's, there's none of that nonsense in there. And what, once I once I kind of got into it and realized that I'm like, oh, this is actually a really good show, right? But they don't they don't do that. They have to they have to bang your head over the with everything, don't they? These days, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I find it quite patronizing personally, you know, because you know, you know, the, the always dictating to society and and the, the you have to do this and you have to think like us and you you must do this and if you don't, then you're always called names. If you don't agree with them, you're called names. You you are told, oh, the fandom doesn't want you. Well, hang on a minute. You know, on the, on the whole, the fandoms are only here for you now because, you know, 99% of people of a certain age continued it when it wasn't even around. I mean, when yeah. you look at each of the franchises that are around now, they spent years away when you actually look at it. They were, they were not there. They were just, you know, they were uh, given life by fans. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah, I mean, it's a great shame. I mean, they're they're all fa they're all failing though. All all of them. Star Wars, Star Trek. The audience just isn't there anymore. It's just no. like just do it properly. You know? Yeah, just you, give you, us a story. Yeah. Why can't you just 
why can't you just do it the way you used to do it? I don't know. I, well, I don't know. Because, well, possibly because these these people have come in and because they all seem to be, um, I mean, even the ones that should know better because they're of a certain age, they seem to think there's this whole mass audience just yeah. that there isn't. They're not there. No, they, they're, they're not they think, there. They, they think Twitter is the real world. Oh, that's the point. And it's not. That, that's the point. And it's not because it's just ridiculous, isn't it? That whole yeah, thing. That I, mean, whole I, thing. I, I, don't, I don't use anything like that. I, 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 I couldn't stand it. No, you're very wise because it's just, um, especially right now where we are as, as a recording, it's 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 vile. It's yeah, um, yeah. it's very upsetting. You know, I've I've actually taken uh, uh, time away from it as well because you just I just can't keep up with. Yeah, Don't yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. The only the only social quote unquote social media I use is YouTube. Yeah, and that's where you're meeting it. other fans, isn't it? Really, yeah. as well, you're coming onto people's shows and commenting and saying hello to people, and that's. That's 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 cool. I mean, hopefully, now as I say, we are recording this um, towards the end of October 2023. So I'm hoping that by the time this drops, you know, you know, you would have had some sort of information over uh, over there about you know what's coming on Disney Plus. Pl uh, well, I, I, I mean, so. how do they? How do they? I mean, they they can't even run trailers, can they, on on Disney Plus? So what would they do? Would they would just did, did well, just set up a Doctor Who platform? They have the on the on the front screen when you when you go in, you have all the templates for the shows and that. But yeah, they have like a banner on the on the top of the screen, and it it advertises shows. Oh, I see. You, you get like shows, and, and it'll it'll move to another show and, and to another show. But right. I've I've not I've not seen anything for for Doctor Who. Like I said, I I even searched for it, and there's no sign of it. At all, yeah. So it has to be coming by the start of November, surely, because you know <laughs> we need to. So. We should be getting any day now. We should be getting the dates as to when these things are going to be transmitted. They, uh, I do know that the the plan was always for them because they've said, you know, they wanted it um, the dates in uh, Britain to be the same as um, everywhere else in the world, so that you guys get it all the same time as yeah. we do. I mean, that must be a logistical nightmare to sort out as well, especially when you're dealing with various parties, but. We are where we are, and we have to see what's going to happen, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I hope so, because, you know, just in case there are any nice big surprises in the specials that we haven't they haven't shown us, it would be nice to get to see it at the same time as you guys, so I haven't heard all about them <laughs> by the time well, it think, comes. You would, I, I would think that with it being now on this, this pay-for service, surely they should be able to drop for want of a better word the content at the same time it's being broadcast in the uk yeah. no matter well, where you are in the world so even if it's i, I know that they do drop, tonight I, I know that they do drop some things like star wars shows and that like in the middle of the night in, in right. some places so presumably they do just drop it everywhere at the same time they must do mustn't they that yeah. must that, but that would make sense but oh man it's just a shame <laughs> that things are where they are in australia right now aren't they with it yeah, it's just, it's just. I mean, I mean the JB the JB Hi-Fi, the Doctor Who stuff is sh shrunk considerably over the last six years. And what's that? Sorry, JB Hi-Fi, so like like DVDs and Blu-rays and that. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Okay. The, so, Doctor, yeah. Who, the Doctor Who content has sh shrunk right down. They used mm. they used to be like two big shelves with, and now there's like quarter of a shelf. <laughs> well, it's the same here. I mean, honestly, yeah. because because as as we were sort of touching on, the last few years have not been very um, successful for the show. And whereas you used to be able to go into certain retailers and they would have piles of stuff just a few years ago, now you're reduced to a shelf. Yeah, maybe two if you're lucky. There's hardly anything there. There's nothing there. And this year hasn't helped because we just haven't had that merchandise apart from what I was saying earlier from the the the, the good old independents there that have really kept the flame alive, really. But gosh, I don't know. We'll just have to see where it's all going, Ian. Yeah, <laughs> the, the right. main thing I'm the, the main thing I'm looking forward to, anyways, what what the next collection set will be, <laughs> <laughs> and when. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping for a Tom. Oh, do you want a Tom? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. We'll have to wait and see on that one. We probably won't get any sort of announcement until next Especially year. Season no, fifteen. I mean, again, we just the, the patterns are all gone, aren't they? The patterns have disappeared all this year, so. You, you, you know, you can't predict anything now. Yeah. Okay, so listen. Um, yeah. 
thank you so much for joining me. I've, it's, it's been nice to chit chat. I know we've had a couple of technical issues, but it's been it's been lovely to have you here on chit chat. Thank you so much. You'll have to um, keep in touch and let me know what you think when we do see the 60th anniversary specials. Um, make sure you let me know how you how you felt about them and what you thought about them. Yeah, well, I I, I will no doubt be uh, talking about them on my channel eventually. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, just give us your channel a plug. What's your, what's your channel? C Cody W1. There you go. Nice That's and easy. Channel, so if you want to, if you want to see what Ian's going to be talking about there, go up Cody W1 and do subscribe. Um, yeah, and then you'll be able to hear about that. But yeah, I mean, obviously we'll we'll have a wee chat as well. We'll keep in touch, and uh, um, that'd be brilliant. So listen, thank oh. you again for giving up some time to come and talk to me. I really appreciate. it. It's lovely to chat to you. Uh, th thank you for having me. It's been a new experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no one... let's try and get you back on again sometime. Yeah, no one's invited me before. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm delighted to be the first. So thank you so much again. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this uh, chit chat with, with Cody W1 with Ian. Please do go and subscribe to his channel. And while you're at it, if you haven't subscribed to Who's Views, please subscribe to us as well. Until we're back again. As I say, subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and we'll see you again very shortly for more from Who's Views. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.